Hi everyone, we're going to find the measure of angle 1 and 2 in six different examples. Uh, we have a transversal here, these uh, lines that intersect two parallel lines. We know they're parallel because they have these little uh, arrow ticker marks right in here. So anytime you see these little arrows here, see if I can do a better job on that one, that means they're parallel. So, uh, starting on the first one, um, I know that um, these are intersecting lines for number five. So, intersecting line theorem says that if this is 120 degrees, then this one is two. So, for this one, angle one equals 120 degrees. I also know from my uh, interior, alternating interior angle theorem, given two parallel lines, that they are congruent. So angle one is congruent to angle two. Therefore, angle one, which is 120 degrees, equals or is congruent to 120 degrees. So angle two is 120 degrees. So number six, um, I know that um, this intersecting lines, this part right here is 60, but we really didn't need to know that. We just need to know that these two angles are supplementary. So basically, um, you take for angle one, that's going to be 180 degrees minus uh, 60 degrees, which equals 120 degrees. So this is 120 degrees. And angle two is going to go back to 60. Because you could use the alternating, um, alternate interior angle theorem. And these two angles are congruent, so that would be 60. Or you can use the consecutive uh, interior, uh, consecutive interior angle theorem, since these are parallel lines, and angle one is can um, plus sorry plus angle two should equal 180 degrees. All right, for number seven, um, I'm going to use my um, alternate interior angle theorem and that means that angle since we have parallel lines angle 2 is congruent to 45 degrees so angle 2 equals 45 degrees now if angle 2 is 45 degrees then I know these two angles are supplementary so Angle 1 equals uh, 180 degrees minus 45. So that's going to equal 135 degrees. So angle 1 equals 135 degrees. Angle 2 equals 45 degrees. Now, for this one, we have um, angle 2 is supplementary with angle 40. So angle 2 equals 180 minus 40 degrees, which equals um, 140 degrees. Okay. And this means um, angle, this angle here is 140 degrees and therefore this angle right here is going to equal um, let's, just, let's do this real quick this angle too is 140 degrees alternate interior angles um, here with this would make it 40 so angle 1 would be 140 as well those are your corresponding angles. 
So that means angle 1 equals uh, 140 degrees. And for this one, angle 2 is going to be, um, it's supplementary with 75. So 180 minus 75 degrees, which equals 105 degrees. So angle 2 is 105 degrees. And if you use your um, exterior, alternate exterior angle theorem, given two parallel lines, they are congruent. So angle um, uh, 1 also equals 105 degrees because angle 1 is congruent with angle 2. And for the last one, um, alternate interior, whoops, sorry, uh, alternate interior angles are congruent. So this angle here equals um, 110 degrees. So angle 1 equals 110 degrees. Alternate exterior angles, so this one, but also is congruent, so that's 110 degrees. Therefore, angle 2 equals 180 degrees minus 110 degrees, which equals 70 degrees. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.